What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got ourselves a banger. We are bringing you guys a Surge Surfer Alolan Raichu team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, Alolan Raichu, one of the coolest regional forms of all time in my opinion. Super dope design and a super dope typing of Psychic and Electric. It's got Surge Surfer as its ability to pair up with Mirai on doubling its speed in the electric terrain. This Raichu over here also has a safety goggles as an item, then a nice solid moveset of Electro Ball and Psychic for two stab moves, Eerie Impulse to drop special attack, and Protect for our fourth and final move. Pair up with the Raichu, we got ourselves that Hadron Engine Miraida with the choice specs, making this thing do an unbearable amount of damage. It's got Electro Drift, Draco Meteor, Dazzling Gleam, and Volt Switch. This thing's pretty much just going to be one shot Pokemon left and right. Our final four Pokemon on today's team features My Shell, Incineroar, Ogre Pond, and Iron Bundle. When it comes to My Shell and Incineroar, they're two Fake Out users. They're going to be really good leads for us, all that good stuff. My Shell also has Fake Out with U turn and close combat, and Incineroar's Rock and Snarl, Flare Blitz, and Parting Shot. Pretty normal moveset for any Incineroar. Like I said, we got Ogre Pond and Iron Bundle for our final two. Iron Bundle is going to be great in that electric train due to Quirk Drive, giving it that stat boost. This thing's Rocket Hydro Pump, Icy Wind, Encore, and Protect. And Ogre Pond has those electric seeds, giving it a free defense boost whenever it's paired up into that electric train. So this team really thrives out with me ride on guys you want to run the team for yourself run the code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel well, without further ado let's hop into match number one showcasing this alone raichu ranked regulation g team we're hopping into our first match and we're going up against a groudon sun team here in match number one they got hitman top to intimidate slash fake out me furthermore they got groudon to pair up with walking wake and they're also rocking out with skull villain Skull Villain, pretty cool Pokemon, nothing too crazy. They also have Fluttermane and Tornadus, but I think a good lead here could just be going into a low on Raichu alongside me right on. Just getting after it that way, right? Probably in our best interest. We do have to watch out for like a Groudon lead with Tornadus. That could be a little scary. Actually, do we just set the terrain and maybe just bring Raichu in the back end? And maybe just go like my shell turn one here, just so we can fake out them? Like if they intimidate us, no big deal. But if we could just fake out them before they fake out us or fake out one of their Pokemon, that could be really good because my shot's fast. Plus, we have Wide Guard. So I do like that. We'll go Raichu in the back end. And last but not least, I think Electric Seeds Ogre Pond could be good, especially up against Groudon. So I am going to end up bringing all four of those Pokemon. Groudon is a little scary, especially if they go in with a Tailwind user. So instead of going Raichu, we're going to save it for the back end because they have no terrain control. We can just set the terrain, have that for five turns, save it for later, you know? I can always Volt Switch Pivot as well. Well, Switch can do some big time damage with me, right on. So they're gonna go Groudon and Skull Belly. Fine by me. That is fine by me. I might just drop a Draco Meter. I might just Draco Meter this Groudon. Not even gonna lie. Fake out the Skull Villain, Draco Meteor the Groudon. Could be in my best interest. That could do some damage. That could do some damage. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna Draco Meteor you. I know I'm faster than you. I'm just gonna fake out uh, Skull Villain. I'm going right after Groudon. Groudon's gonna protect. That's fine. That's why I'm faking out Skull Villain. That is why I'm faking out Skull Villain. The fake out flies on Skull Villain. Does some nice, beautiful damage. You're actually Cobra Cloak and you're gonna Will O Wisp me. Alright. Okay, I see you. So obviously, Draco Meter's going to just absolutely rip up into this, uh. This Groudon, right? So, I feel like they, they're kind of forced to swap here. Could I be wrong? They could be forced to swap. I mean, I could Thrasilize, just go into Dazzling Gleam, which wouldn't be bad, but I'm actually choosing Draco Meteor now. So do I still just throw it? Yeah, I'm gonna throw it that way. And on top of that, I'm just gonna go for a U-turn. Try to pivot out of here. Maybe get Raichu out here. Yeah, they're gonna go right into Fluttermane. I should've just hard swapped into Raichu. Yep, there's Fluttermane. That was an easy read for me. That was an easy read, but I am gonna be able to U-turn out of here. Skull Villain's chilling on the field. Protosynthesis gonna pop. This thing is going to get a nice, lovely speed boost. He's going to be able to overheat and just KO me. Takes out speed and overheat going crazy. Okay, so I can get out Raichu, which is gorgeous. Getting out Raichu is going to be huge for us. Um, I might just end up hard swapping. Uh, might be right on here. Just resetting our choice. And just go on Raichu and maybe just throw an Eerie Impulse into the Flutter Main slot. Definitely in our best interest. So we'll hard swap here. We'll save me right on for later. And it's choice Spect, all that good stuff. And we're just going to go into Electric Seeds, get that defense boost right here, right now. And we'll drop an Eerie Impulse into Fluttermane. Yep, that's my play. So we'll Eerie Impulse this thing, drop its special attack, kind of waste out some turns. 
Dang, that was just a good play by them to swap Flutter Main. But I kind of knew that was happening. That was all more on me not making the hard read and just swapping my Mirai on that turn. Should just swap Mirai on that turn. But look at my boy, Alolan Raichu on the field. Looking, looking like a dog, dude. Lo love my guy. <laughs> love my dude. He's an absolute dog. So let's see what they want to do here. I think Alolan Raichu should outspeed. I mean... Fluttermane is boosted with the uh, Protosynthesis, but I mean, Surge Surfer Surf, Surf doubles our speed. They're gonna swap into Groudon. So Groudon gets a swap here. I am gonna swap into my Ogre Pond. I can get a speed boost with Ogre Pond if I wanted to by terrestrializing it. I do get a defense boost, which is good, but I'm still just a grass type here. I'm still just a grass type. Their area impulse is going to outspeed. That's massive. We dropped this thing special attack. We love that. And he's just going to go for a shadow ball on me, which is actually still going to do some nice damage. Not going to KO, right? Yeah, no. That does not KO. We do have a defense boost. I could just go into an Ivy Cudgel here and Terrasalize into straight grass. And I think I'm just going to double down into you. I think I'm just going to double down right into Groudon. I don't think Groudon protects. I think potentially they hard swap Fluttermane or they stay in here. And go for another Shadow Ball to take out Raichu. But as long as Groudon doesn't protect here, I think we're in a solid position to actually still win this game. Let's see. Let's see what they want to do here. They end up withdrawing Fluttermane. That's fine. So Fluttermane gets to withdraw. If we can just double down and KO this Kyogre, not Kyogre, Groudon, that'd be massive. It ends up going back into Skull Villain here. No Terra, hopefully nothing going on here. And of course they're going to Terrasalize. Actually, that's me Terrasalizing. Or is that me? Yeah, it's me putting on the mask. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm putting on the mask just for some bigger damage here. We do get a speed boost on top of that, which is actually really nice. A speed boost with our Ogre Pond. I'm going to guarantee us outspeeding these guys. And again, hoping no terror from Groudon. And of course, there it is. Maybe a fire terror here. This is a slight issue for us. Slight issue. Is that a fire terror? It is fire terror. I hate this game, man. <laughs> I hate this game. At least that actually leads for my uh, what's it called to get off some nice damage here. My uh my rider can now hit the ground on, but Psychic gets a crit. That's some solid damage there. I have a you're gonna fly here. How much damage is this really doing? Nothing crazy, correct? Not bad. And he crashed, he's gonna finish this off. Okay. So now we're sitting here. I think we only have one turn left in terrain, though, which kind of sucks, man. I think we only have one turn left in terrain, which I would love for it to just, like, end and I can reset it. But I still feel as my Miradon can do some wicked damage here. I'm going to bring out Miradon. Um, Gold Villain's looking a little scary. Let's not sugarcoat it. And I'm going to have the choice into a move, which is probably going to be Electro Drift. We definitely want to go into Electro Drift. So I'm going to Electro Drift up. I am going to go into uh, a Psychic here just to go after the Skull Villain. The Electro Drift will KO the ground on. This is not a bad first match. I mean, we can still definitely win this. Fluttermane is looking rather scary. It's a withdrawn ground on. Who are you going to go into here? You're going to go into Fluttermane. So your Fluttermane just dies unless it's Sash. Unless it's Fluttermane Sash, but I believe it's... No, it's not Booster Energy. It has Pro Synthesis. We end up going into Fluttermane here. Psychic gonna fly into Skull Villain. Skull Villain's not that bulky. And we get a crit, yo. So that's back to back crits for Raichu. Big time KO for Raichu. Electro Drift gonna pick up the KO on the Fluttermane. Unless it's Sash. Unless you're Sash. I hope you're not Sash. I don't feel like dealing with you. Of course you're Sash. That's why you swapped in there. We end up swapping in there. Focus Sash is gonna hang on with. And the Harsh Sunlight is gonna fade, which means terrain fades too. Yep, so no terrain, no sunlight. They're going to bring back out the sunlight, which is uh, a little scary. I can't protect, which kind of hurts the soul. My Raichu's back to normal speed. My Raichu is back to normal speed. So Groudon comes out here. We know our Miradon outspeeds the uh, Groudon. And what is my play here? What is the play? Gotta go for Electro Drift to finish you off. Because if I don't finish you off, it's game. I think you go for a Moon Blast into my, uh... I think you do go for a Moon Blast into my Miradon. You just protect the Groudon. That's fine. That's fine. Unless you're going for Dazzle Gleam. No, you do go for a Moon Blast. So wait a minute. We have a shot at this. Because we survived that all day. Electro Drift's going to get blocked. Electro Ball's going to KO. 
We just gotta hope we outspeed, right? We need to be right on outspeeding out here. Because they have one last Pokemon. They have one last Pokemon. Man, if I had another turn in terrain, that would have been great. If we, if we had terrain still. But now they have Walking Wake, which is... Is this Protosynthesis speed? That's the real question. It is speed. Man, I hate this game. It's game over. This thing's out speeding us now. We're gonna go for a Lecture Drift into that and hope that the Psychic can potentially KO, but... Nah, this thing's out speeding, picking up a KO on me ride on, no problem. So, match number one gonna go to our opponent here. Still love this ride to me ride here. Almost complete the comeback. If we did keep terrain control, like get another set of terrain out there, we would have won this game, no problem, but they played it well. GG to our opponent. Let's go hop into our second match, look for our first victory. Moving on to match number two, and we're just gonna chalk that last battle up as a warm up. We're hopping into our second match, looking to bounce back. We're sitting on one, but we're going up against a mere ride on team with. Iron Crown, which is kind of weird considering they not rock and psychic terrain. So I feel as we can just go into choice specs me ride on alongside with a ride chain wouldn't be bad, right? Or I mean I could go into Quirk Drive Iron Bundle and maybe just get some speed control with Icy Wind. That could be in our best interest as well. I don't mind that. So I actually I am gonna go into our iron bundle. Nice fast Pokemon. Really start getting after it. We'll bring in Raichu in the back end. And then last but not least, um we go Ogre Pod. Especially with these electric seeds for that defense boost. I like it. So we really don't want to pop Defiant with uh, with Galarian Zapdos. So going in Ogre Pond is going to be pretty solid. Plus I like it's typing. I think we start getting after it. I like it. We got Stomp and Catch and deal with Miraidon as well. But we're on one. We need ourselves a big time win here. We are going into our Iron Bundle with Quirk Drive. Hopefully Icy Wind can do some work for us. Drop some speed. All that good stuff. So let's see. They're going to end up leading Tornadus and Ogre Pond. Rock Ogre Pond is here to play. Rock Ogre Pond came into play. So we're going to head Rod Engine up. Uh, we know it has Sturdy as its ability. It could Volt Switch out and just KO the Tornadus. That's an okay play for us. It's nothing crazy. But I could also just go into like a Volt Switch into Ogre Pond. Or I could Terra and go Dazzle Gleam. Which wouldn't be bad at all. Terra and Dazzle Gleam is not bad at all. I wouldn't mind Volt Switching and KO the Tornadus. But then you just get speed from there, right? Hmm. I, mean, I could just protect the iron bundle. I could protect the bundle. You know, I'm just hit to hit you with a volt switch. And I'm gonna go for an icy wind. I think iron bundle might outspeed that ogre pond anyway in tailwind. But this quick drive boost, this thing's so fast. It does, cool. Now I get off an icy wind. I get to slow him down a little bit, which is good. Now I wonder if this volt switch can KO. I'm really hoping it can. I'm really hoping it's full switch and KO. It does not! Man, we can say bye bye to our, uh. Our, what's it called? Our iron bundle. But I'm just gonna go in the Raichu here. Raichu with that Surge Surfer. I'm gonna go in the Raichu here. He's probably dropping Ivy Cudgel. I was really hoping that full switch can just KO. There goes the Ivy Cudgel. We're gonna lose our Ogre Pond. Or not our Ogre Pond, our iron bundle. That's tough, man. I want that KO so bad. That would have been a big time KO. So now we get to go into you. We got a little bit of speed cooking here. Um, could obviously go into our Ogre Pond, but our best bet is just go back into Mirai on here. Lovely little Mirai on. So I can actually pick and choose who I'm going to KO. We know Mirai on outspeeds, which is good news. We know our Mirai on outspeeds. But I think I'm just going to go Electro Ball here just to KO you. And I could Volt Switch here again just to KO. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with Volt Switching. Let's get a spike shield, no big deal. So Raichu should outspeed. It does not. But you're going you're taunting me. I'm attacking anyway. I am attacking anyway. So we're gonna drop you with Electro Ball. We're actually not gonna drop you, which is actually fine by me. That's actually fine because we're wasting out tailwind turns really well here. And if I can just keep wasting them, that's beautiful. Hmm. Again, I'm just gonna throw another Electro Ball this way. And I will go for another Volt Switch, just to pivot out of here. And pick up KO at the same time. So Electro Ball, see you later. I knew we outspeed sped you. Bye-bye. And Volt Switch is going to pivot out KO you. And I get out my Electro Seeds Pokemon, giving myself a nice little defense boost. Cool. So I'm guessing they have me right on. If we had to guess, they have me right on, right? If I had to guess, they had me, have me right on. Which, I would have loved to have Iron Bundle here, just so I could get like a speed drop onto them. 
But I get to go into you, which is good news for me. I mean, obviously, you could trick a meter me. Could trick a meter me. But I like our Ogre Pond with this defense boost and its typings really well. I could go for a speed boost. I mean, how many turns are left in Tailwind? One? If it is one, that's not bad. They're going to bring out Chiyu. I wish I could Eerie Impulse here, man. How many turns are left in Taunt? Is it one? Because if I could survive a turn here, you don't even have me ride on. You didn't even bring me ride on. That's actually good news for us. That's really good news for us. We have one turn left in Taunt. I can't protect him. Just going to have to attack here. And I think going for a Psychic might be in our best interest here, right? Or do I go Electro Ball? I think Psychic's going to do a bit more. So I'm going to go for Psychic here. Um, I'm just going to Spiky Shield. Because they should have... How many turns left in Tailwind? One. Yeah, so I'm just going to Spiky Shield. And then if I want to, I can always just go into a... What's it called? Actually, Electro Ball is going to be a bit better here. I do not want to give it a special defense drop and have Defiant Pop. So I'm just going to go Electro Ball. And I'm just going to Spiky Shield here. Waste out the last turn of Tailwind. The last turn of Tailwind. So we're going to end up seeing a Terror type probably from Zapdos here. Let's be honest here. Yeah, it's going to be Zapdos, who's going to go into straight ground type. Ooh. Ground type. That works well for my Ogre Pond. That works real well for my Ogre Pond. So I'm able to Spiky Shield up. Now, is she you going to be choice? Probably not, considering now that's uh, Zapdos out speeds. He's just going to stop and catch with on my Raichu. Bye-bye, Raichu. Thanks for playing. Not in a bad position, because they don't have me ride on. I thought they would bring me ride on. And Heat Wave's going to fly, which we block. So we don't really need terrain except for, for damage output. And I think Miradon's doing enough damage regardless. And her Tailwind is gone. So I'm now going to be able to go into Miradon. Um, I think I do go into a Terra for Ogre Pond just for speed boost. And then I just throw an Electro Drift into the slot. Or do I go into Dazzling Gleam? Just in case, like, Zapdos does die out here to his Ivy Cudgel. Dazzling Gleam might be in our better interest. Yeah, you know what? We're going to play it safe. You could just protect the Zapdos. You could definitely just protect the Zapdos, but... I'm going to Terrasalize. I'm going to get the Speed Boost. And I'm going to go into Dazzling Gleam just in case this Zapdos maybe protects or even uh, survives this Ivy Cudgel. So I'm going to Terrasalize just for a bit more speed here. We are going into a Dash and Gleam instead of everything. We're going to get that speed boost with Embody Aspect. Lovely. Don't protect. You don't protect. Cool. So Ivy Kudzo, again, should finish you off. But I'm playing it safe by choosing Dash and Gleam. It does finish you off. I should have went to Electro Drift. I get a crit too. <laughs> I get a crit too. You were dead regardless. I don't want to hear it. Zapdos, get on out of here. Zapdos, get on out of here. So we do that. This should probably do at least half damage. At least in its terrain right now. That's really going to fly here. It does a bit more than half, so we know that probably another one is going to KO. Heat Wave's going to finish off Ogre Pond, and it doesn't do nearly enough damage to my Mew Ride on. Beautiful. Lovely. This next Dazzling Gleam should KO. Ogre Pond, thanks for coming out here. Thanks for taking out that Zip Zap. And Electric Terrain is going to disappear, so we lose a little damage boost, but I still feel as this Dazzling Gleam should finish this Chiyu off. We're choice into it now. Dazzling Gleam for the win. Dazzling Gleam for the win. Like I said, we're bouncing back here. We're one and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. Moving on to our final match, and we're sitting one and one. We're going up against a Karidon team, so we have ourselves a box art legendary war. Miradon versus Karidon. Furthermore, they got Fluttermane, they got Ting Lu, who I've been seeing a lot more on the rank ladder as of recently, and then they got Raging Bolt for more Protosynthesis Pokemon, Incineroar, and Amoongus. So one thing that stands out to me is no terrain. No terrain is going to be pretty big, considering we can just go into our terrain setter, which is going to be your ride on. And we can also lead it with a Pokemon, maybe like Iron Bundle, or even a Pokemon like Ogre Pond. And I kind of like Ogre Pond because if they're going to lead Ting Lu, which most likely could happen, we're going to have a nice little grass type Pokemon ready to go. Love good grass type Pokemon. Plus, we have Defiant that can deal with Incineroar. So I like going in with both these guys. That's going to be my lead. We are going to bring Raichu in the back end. And last but not least, we go Iron Bundle. I like Iron Bundle. Especially in terrain, get some speed control with icy winds, all that good stuff. I'm cool with that. So let's see who they end up leading here. I feel like this one's going to be a close one. We are looking for a winning record. We are sitting one and one. Had a good, good second match. First match was okay. Put that one behind us. But looking to bounce back here even more with back-to-back -back victories. But again, we have no weather control. They have no terrain control. So 
This one's gonna be a close one, I feel. So they end up going Fluttermate and Coridon. We end up going Ogre Pond and Miraidon. Okay, so I get a little big defense boost. Um, looks like I might just want to spike the shield here. Maybe just Terrasalize and go into a Dazzling Wing. You could Terrasalize and go into like a Fire type. So maybe I might just want to Terrasalize and go into just Electro Drift. Just does so much damage. Electro Drift just does so much damage. He's gonna get a special attack boost from Fluttermane. I think we do Terrasalize and we just go into Electro Drift. Right into me right on. I just think it does so much damage regardless if it's not very effective or very effective. I could honestly Volt Switch Pivot. And I kind of like the Volt Switch play because then I could just go into Iron Bundle. I get a little bit of speed control. That's not bad. Or I can just attack Fluttermane here. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go after Fluttermane. I'm just gonna Spiky Shield here. So I'm a Spiky Shield. They could Terrasalize Fire. That's my only problem here. I maybe should have just attacked them, right? I maybe should have just attacked them. I maybe should have just attacked them. But I think they are gonna Terrasalize. I'm gonna Terrasalize into Fairy. Just to neutralize some Dazzling Gleam damage. And they end up just protecting, so. <coughs> so that's a good turn for us so far. We're spiky shielding. He's probably going for a gleam, maybe a moon blast. And we're both switching out of here. I'm actually outspeed it too, which is good news. I'm out of here. And you sash up. Oh, this is tough, man. I want you to go first. I really wanted you to go first. I really wanted you to go first. Are we going to ride you here? I think I have to go into bundle. Bundle, you should be able to survive. Mmm. You should be able to survive. I think it's Dazzle Gleam. I need you to survive in your bundle. I'm gonna go into bundle. I am going into bundle. You should be able just to survive this. Please be Dazzle Gleam. Please be Gleam, not Moon Blast. Please be Gleam, not Moon Blast. It is Gleam. You should be able to survive Dazzle Gleam. You should. You should. It is special attack boost for Pro Synthesis. And you do survive. That's massive. Because now I know I outspeed you. I could Encore him into Protect, but I'd rather just go for an Icy Wind. And go for a uh, a stomping tantrum into the slot. So we're gonna slow down Karate on here. We should pick up a KO on Fluttermane. Unless you protect Fluttermane. Unless you protect Fluttermane. Which most likely might be what's happening. But if you protect Fluttermane, it means you have to go after Iron Bundle here. And you don't protect Fluttermane. So Icy Wind gonna fly here. We're gonna slow down Karate on a little bit and actually do a huge chunk of damage. That's that's a massive chunk of damage onto Karate on. And you're outspeeding me. Oh, you got co you're not Cobra Cloak. You got a uh, clear amulet. The collision course comes out here. We soaked that. I don't know why you went into collision course. That's kind of stupid. And now I know an Icy Wind should KO Karidon. <laughs> That's huge. Icy Wind did do a ridiculous amount of damage. Rage of Bolt's going to fly through here. <clears throat> you could go into... Uh, what is that move? Thunderclap, which is kind of looking a little scary. And... Do I just protect you? I think I should just protect you. Just keep Iron Bundle on the field for a little bit of a threat. And if I can't get off a stop attachment, I'd love to go for a stop attachment. But yeah, chances are they're going to go for a Thunderclap. And they're just going to go for another Collision Course just to KO my Ogre Pond. Okay, that's a big deal. I still got some good back-end Pokemon. Yep, there's Thunderclap. So there is the Thunderclap. Breaking Swipe's also going to fall through. I know my Iron Bundle outspeeds everybody, but the first turn priority is something terrible. And I end up soaking that. <coughs> and we go plus one on attack. This is actually big for us. Wow, they just not taken off my Ogre Pond. They're just not taking Ogre Pond off the field, and now I'm getting off big time damage. We love that. We love that. So from here, honestly, I'm kind of forced to attack at this point. And do I just Spiky Shield? Do I just Spiky Shield? Good spike shit. I mean, I got two good Pokemon in the back end. How many turns are left in terrain? That's the real question. Two. Two turns left in terrain. We are going to end up spike shooting here. Because my whole plan is to reset this whole... Uh, I got to reset this terrain. So I can waste out this turn. Go into Raichu next turn. Protect Raichu. Then my Ogre Pond dies. Then I can just reset terrain and have for the rest of the game. That's my plan. That's my thought process here. 
that is my thought process. And on top of that, their, their weather should be in soon. So I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He's going to take a little bit of damage from the spikes of the shield. Now I can go into Raichu here, protect, waste out the last turn terrain, bring back out my Rhydon, and then try to win the match that way. So that's going to be my play. So protect Raichu. Go into stop attachment if we can. I would love to just pick up a KO here. And I wonder if they're going to swap Karidon. It doesn't look like it. I was wondering if they're going to swap just to try to get some weather. And they're just going to protect him here. They end up protecting Are you going to go after my Ogre Pond here? No, you're just protecting all the round. That's fine. I mean, that's okay. I mean, I can swap right into me right on if I want to just to get some speed back here. Hmm. Our sunlight's gone. Your photosynthesis is gone. <coughs> and my Surge Surfer's gone. Now, are you faster than... Pokemon already because you are pretty fast 178 so I'm thinking I can just go psychic here drop you hard swap you into you and then go that way yeah I like this I like so we still have Ogre Pond we still have Ogre Pond we're gonna need to get rid of this uh this Raging Bolt who honestly might just go for a Thunderclap here who might just go for a Thunderclap so we reset the terrain Get all these electric boosts going. He is going to go for another Thunderclap. So this was a money swap for us. This was a money swap. And Psychic going to finish off your restricted boot. Cool. See you later. Get on out of here. So we finally get rid of that. We have this Raging Bolt low enough HP where we can kind of just get after it. And I think Choicing and Dazzling Gleam is probably going to be our best bet, right? Choicing and Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, with Tingle on the field. We have to Choicing and Dazzling Gleam. We have Ogre Pond in the back end. That's so beautiful. They're going to lower special uh, attack, but... I still like just attacking this thing. Actually, we have no effect on that shot. Um, what do we even do here? Might as well double down on Raging Bolt. I guess, right? None of my moves really do anything. We're gonna go for Dazzle Gleam. I still have Terror, though. But Thunderclap's gonna fly here. It does a decent damage. Decent amount of damage. And Psychic, gonna get after you. And Dazzle Gleam's gonna fly here. So how much damage does this Dazzle Gleam do into this thing, though? I hope a nice chunk. Eh, we do have Ogre Pod, which is nice, but what are you going for here? He's going to go for Stomp Attach. I'm into Raichu, hopefully. Yeah, because Raichu can't do anything here. That's fine. KO my Raichu. Deal damage on my Raichu. That's fine. We don't we don't, we don't, don't really want Raichu here. It, it legit can't do anything. Its Psychic move doesn't affect him because he's dark. Its Electric move doesn't affect him because he's ground typing. And Eerie Impulse will not do anything because he's physical attack. So Raichu was... It was nothing there, so that's fine. I'm actually glad he took him out. Now I still have Ogre Pond. We know we outspeed. I'm going to go into Ivy Cudgel. I'm on top of that. Going to go stick with Dazzle Gleam. And we'll see what he wants to do. He should still have Terra, correct? I believe he has a Terra because he liked Coridon and Fluttermane. He didn't Terrestrialize either of those, and he didn't Terrestrialize the Raging Bolt. So Terra has to come out here. Terra has to come out here. Like I told you guys at the beginning, this I knew this was going to be a close battle. So finally, they used their Terra type here. I don't think they can KO my Coridon. Or my Miraidon, but Miraidon's not doing that much damage to this thing. They're gonna go straight poison. Oh, that's actually a really good terror type. That's actually a really good terror type. Unless we get off another Stomp Tantrum. We're choosing it as a thing. At least we have this Electric Train boosting a little bit of damage here. Oh, but that's not doing nearly enough damage. Ivy Cudgel, how much damage are you doing? Oh, no. We might lose this. Heavy Slam comes out here. He's taking out my Ogre Pond. Oh, no! We're going to lose this. They got Heavy Slam too. We are losing this game all day long. We are losing this to a perfect Terror type. The most perfect Terror type. I probably should have went in the Stomping Tantrum. Like realizing that we have a Poison Terror type. But man, we played this one good just to lose it. We played this one so good just to lose the game. How much damage is your Heavy Slam doing? Can we soak another one? I don't think we can. We kind of need a crit here. We kind of need a crit. I don't think we can soak another Heavy Slam. I do not. Get a crit here. Or soak it up. And then just KO on the next as and leave. Soak this. Soak this up. We did get a crit there. It didn't pick up the KO. Soak this Heavy Slam. I don't think we are. No, man. Yo, a perfect Terra beating us in match number three. I feel like we played great today. Even though we got ourselves a losing record. It happens sometimes. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, rocking out with Surge Surfer Raichu. Had fun with this team, especially because Surge Surfer Raichu is off meta, and I feel like using off meta Pokemon in Regulation G is a lot of fun because I feel like the meta just kind of starts to get stale real quick. 
considering restricted Pokemon are here, and every team has to have a restricted Pokemon, if that makes sense. But again, love this team so much, had a lot of fun, fun with it, grabbed yourself a loser record, but still thought we played really well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.